morning. Welcome back to episode 7 of the Tiny Narrowboat Vlog. We're not really doing anything in particular today. We just wanted to get the boat out for a run after lockdown and just enjoy it for once. Two miles an hour all the way. Let's enjoy the ride. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. nice for once we're not actually going anywhere or doing anything or having to rush to get from one place to the next just tootling along 1200 revs and just enjoying the canal it makes a refreshing change stuff on the left called Penny Ward. When we came up from Nantwich on episode one, we had a really hard time with this stuff. It was across both sides of the canal and the only thing I could do was go through it. I didn't realise, but it sort of wrapped round the front of the boat and came all the way to the back of the boat on both sides. And because the boat's only little, it actually managed to stop the boat and we couldn't go any further. It was pouring it down, freezing cold, and it took me over an hour to get it off the boat. It was not something I liked. So whenever I see this stuff, I do everything I can to avoid it. It's over now, so don't despair. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go It was at this point that the boat dropped to 500 revs. I figured something had got round the prop, so I put it in reverse to free it up. When we go back to forward again, the temperature light starts flashing and we get a beeping noise. It's the first time we've seen this being relatively new boaters. We had no idea what to do, so we figured let's pull over to the side very quickly and explore what's happened. As you can see, Tiny's behind me on the cut. We've had to stop for a little bit, it started to overheat. Wife's not too impressed because I didn't do engine checks. I don't know if that's played an issue or not, but something's causing it to overheat. So once it's cooled down, we'll take a look and see what's going on. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy the view. So as you can see, that's the engine. We stopped smoking now. There is coolant in there, but I'm not sure exactly how much should be there versus how much is there. That's how it's been for the last few weeks. So, wifey's doing some Googling and we'll see what we find. Hi all, not done this before, but a lot of you seem like you're quite knowledgeable boaters and you might actually be able to help us out in this fix. As you know, the engine's overheating, but we've been having a look in the engine bay and I've found a few things I can't quite explain. I'll turn the camera around now and show them to you and if any of you, any of you actually know what these things are or do, it would be really appreciated. So I've got this tube here that's on one of the steps. It has got a tank but no one seemed to know when we bought the boat what the tank was for. 
and the pipe goes round the engine and then it fits if I can get round to it just down there now I'm not too sure what that does but I don't know if that's contributing it's going to the engine so it must do something if any of you, any of you know could you let us know in the comments please so we've topped up the oil topped up the water let it all cool down done a bit of googling but we've not really found too much or oh, what we found doesn't overly make sense to us so let's start it up now and see what happens we're off again and she's running great only speculation but one of the things we did read was that the boat's cooled by the canal water and that sometimes things can cover up the uh, the intake to the engine and something's blocked it and stopped it from cooling that might be wrong who knows if you do know just let us know by all means that'd be great what was i saying before with the sun being right in our faces i really didn't see this happen as soon as our boat went into the penny water, it actually stopped us. So I stick it in reverse and try my best to get out of here. It's not going to be good carrying on this way, so I'm going to turn it back round and head back up to the Leeds Liverpool. now coming up and down the Leeds Liverpool I think it's really sad when boats get like this obviously it would have been a much loved boat in its day now it's listing towards a bank there's no windows in it and you can see just by bit by bit it's getting worse and worse and I guess at some point when we come past it'll be on the bottom of the canal it'd be great if somebody restored it As we get through this bridge on the right hand side, you can just see Sorcerer from episode 4. Again, 
on our right hand side to another throwback to episode four. This is Elibet Boats. This is where we took the day boat out. Also a good place to get fuel quite cheap. So we turned around on the way to Top Lock and then we came back past the marina, went up to Bridge 72, which is where Frederick's ice cream is, and now we've turned it back round again and we're going to head home. As the sun's setting, this brings an end to episode 7 of the Tiny Narrowboat Vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed us tootling along for once without having somewhere to go. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.